Hey guys, I'm back with part 5 for this tutorial on how to build this apartment building. Here at this one, we're going to be finishing the build. All we have left to do are the interior furnishings for the 3rd and 4th floor. So I'm here on the 3rd floor and I gathered up the blocks we're going to be using for this living room space. So be sure to grab the grey concrete, smooth quartz slabs, grey carpet, light grey carpet, and white carpet. And then I have the wither and regular skeleton skull a lantern, painting, and sea lantern. So I'm going to start by marking out the couch. Make sure you have your gray concrete, and I'm going to look at this wall over here, and I'm going to line up here at the right side of this center window, and I want to bring out five blocks of gray concrete. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now I'm going to go to the left of that, bring it out by an extra three, so it's a little L shape. Now switch to the smooth quartz slabs. I'm going to go ahead and just wrap around these slabs like this back on this side i'm going to extend it out by an extra two and then right here i'm also going to extend this out so that is the couch i'm going to have a table i think right here yeah that'll be good and then let's go ahead and have the carpet in the floor so let's grab the sea lanterns so i can carve out the hole and I'm going to have the carpet right here. So we'll carve out all of this. So just a little rectangle like this. Filled in with sea lanterns. Yeah, I think that'll be good. And then we'll have some gray carpet right here. Light gray. Some white right around here. Maybe extend out this gray a little bit more. Something like that. I'm going to have some cutouts in the wall here. So I'm going to skip over a space away from the edge of the door frame. Do two spaces, bring it all the way up. Skip over this space and do another two right here. And then with the smooth quartz stairs, I'm going to have them upside down at the top. Facing up at the bottom and then upside down on top of that. Have the lantern, one on the outer end, and then the skeleton skulls in the middle. And then over here, above the couch, I'm going to carve out a hole, filled in with sea lanterns, and cover it up with a painting. And that is everything. So we have the small living room area here with a nice L-shaped couch and a table, painting on that wall, some cutouts on the wall over here, and now... Let's go ahead and do the kitchen and dining room space. So there's a small dining room table right here up against that wall. And then the kitchen area is here. So now I gathered up all the blocks we're using for the dining room and the kitchen. So be sure to grab the smooth quartz blocks, the stairs, the slabs, the quartz bricks, the white banner, iron door, white stained glass pane, iron trap door, painting, campfire, end rod, furnace, hopper, birch trap door, lever, candle, and then the flint and steel to light the candle, sea lantern, spruce pressure plate, gray carpet, green carpet, brown carpet, jungle log, jungle leaves, jungle trap door, and then a few food items within the item frames, and then the item frame. Uh, we need a cake, fern, or pretty much just a few flowers, and then a sign. I'm going to start by marking out the dining room table first, so be sure to grab the smooth quartz blocks. I want to make sure I'm right down the center of this wall, so it'll be right here. I'll have two smooth quartz blocks like that. Upside down stair on each end. Slab in each corner. And then a slab on each side. So a total of three chairs. We'll have the iron door behind each one of those slabs. We'll crouch have the white banner and then I want some cutouts in the wall right here so just one here skip over the space in the middle have another one upside down smooth quartz stair at the bottom and at the top and then some small paintings within these you can see it's a little bit dark over here so what I'm gonna do is just look straight down in the center of this table straight up have two white stained glass panes, and then the end rod hanging down from that, and then the iron trap door. 
And then I actually like to go up here, crouch, and flip around the end rod. So this end looks like it's connected to the trap door. So there we go. Now, I'll go ahead and have the cake, the item. Oh wait, you know what? Let me grab the glow item frame. There we go. So we have the cake, the glow item frames. So let me go ahead and place those. Cake will be right around there. And then we need a flower pot, which I guess I forgot to grab, but we won't be needing these glow item frames anymore. So I'll go ahead and get rid of that. And I'll grab the flower pot. I could have sworn I grabbed it, but yeah, flower pot right there. And then I'll go ahead and just have a flower within that. That's cool. And then let's add the items within the item frames. And you know what? I did have a couple more item frames where the kitchen island is. So I'll go ahead and get rid of these items. I'll grab the glow item frame again. And we'll be using the other food items to fill it in. We won't be needing the cake anymore, so we'll get rid of that. And then let's grab the birch signs. We'll have these on the slabs. So that's looking pretty good. A small table, but it gets the job done. So now we'll head on over here in this corner just to get it out of the way. We're going to have the jungle log, the jungle leaves, and the jungle trapdoors. Go ahead and add that. And then I'll remove that from my inventory. We won't need these birch signs anymore. We'll get rid of that as well. Kind of just trying to clear this up because there's a lot of blocks. We got the iron doors. We won't need that anymore. So we'll leave it at that for now. And we'll head on to the actual kitchen space. So we'll need the full blocks, the stairs, the slabs, the quartz bricks. I'll go ahead and get rid of that white banner. We won't need that. Same with the white stained glass panes. We'll need the campfire, the hoppers, the furnace birch trap doors so we'll look over here first i'll grab the full blocks of the smooth quartz and i'll go ahead and shape out the fridge so it'll be right there upside down stair slabs on top and then we'll grab the full blocks have one here we'll skip over these two spaces have another two replace these light gray concrete blocks with full blocks of the smooth quartz this is where we're going to have the hoppers We'll have the birch trap doors in front of the full blocks and then we'll crouch and have it in front of these hoppers. Grab the full blocks of the smooth quartz. We're going to skip over a space, have two there, a total of four here, slabs on top, and birch trap doors in front of these full blocks. Now we're going to skip over two spaces, so right here. So we'll be on this third block and we're going to start shaping out the kitchen island, which will also have the oven. So smooth quartz blocks, we'll just have two right there. We'll fill these two spaces in with the ovens and then we'll have another full block there. And then we'll curve around a stair like that, another one and another. And then we'll wrap it around into the wall right there. And then all this space in the middle will be full blocks. And then you could grab the smooth quartz stairs. I'm going to have one here and one there. Flip it around. So these look like high chairs. In front of those, I'm going to have the glow item frame. And then we can now get rid of that. Grab the other food items. Fill this in. And now we can get rid of those. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. We need the campfires to be underneath these furnaces. So we'll carve out this floor, fill that in, and then have the furnaces. So now we'll get rid of the campfire, get rid of the hopper, get rid of the furnace. And I guess I forgot to grab a bucket of water. So we'll go ahead and crouch and fill in the hoppers. And then we need the lever. I'll have both of these pointing towards the hoppers. I'll now get rid of that. And I'll go ahead and mark out the oven hood. So we need the full blocks of the smooth quartz, the sea lanterns. We'll need the iron trap doors. So I'll look straight down at this furnace. So I'll go straight up, have two full blocks like that. Right above this other one, I'll have another two. 
and then sea lanterns underneath. Smooth quartz stairs on each side. Each corner will have a slab. And then a layer of slabs all underneath. And then iron trap doors to cover up those sea lanterns. And now I'm gonna grab the candle, the flint and steel. We need this pressure plate. So the candle I'll have right around here. Little extra decoration. The pressure plate I'll have right there so it looks like a cutting board. Or should I have it? You know what, I'll have it over here. That's a good spot. And then, you know what? I forgot to grab the birch button as well so it looks like a bar of soap. I might have actually completely forgot to add that at the original version. And it'll be right here next to the sink so it looks like a bar of soap. And then on the kitchen island, I'll go ahead and have another flower pot with maybe the fern. Have it right there will be... You know what? Hang on. I'll have it... How about right there? Yeah, that's fine. And then... We can fill this in with some flower pots. So I'll have the blue orchid and the lily of the valley over here. That is fine. You know what? We already have that one there. So I'll go ahead and grab the fern and have it there. And... Oh yeah. One final thing. We'll go ahead and carve out... A hole here. I'll fill it in with sea lanterns. Nice light source. I'll clear all that. I'll grab these three colored carpet. That's good. Clear that. Oh yeah. So we still need these quartz bricks. So it'll be for like the backsplash here. So we'll carve out these two blocks. This here. That one. Fill that in this and that'll be good that's all we really need so we'll clear that we used everything here so yeah this looks good i gathered up all the blocks for this room be sure to grab the smooth quartz stairs the full blocks and the slabs pink concrete magenta concrete the snow birch trap doors pink carpet white concrete sea lantern magenta carpet creeper head lantern Stone pressure plate, painting, stone button, pink banner, iron door, birch sign, pink candle, then a couple flowers, the end rod, flint and steel, and I actually forgot to grab the flower pot, so let me grab that. There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna have a bed here on this back wall, so grab the full blocks of the smooth quartz, we'll have two there, two there, grab the pink concrete, I'll have two... Uh, two right there, two rows here, and then the magenta concrete there. I'll have the slabs for the footboard, the quartz stairs side by side for the headboard, and then I'm going to have two full blocks right there for a nightstand. I'm going to cover up each side with the birch trap doors. I'm going to grab the top snow, have two layers at that back side, one layer there, so that's the pillows. And then I'm going to have a desk over here, so grab the smooth quartz stairs. I'm going to have a sideways one there, and then a smooth quartz slab, and then another sideways stair, and a stair right there to curve into it. And then we'll have a slab there to start off the chair. And then over here, I'm going to have a little storage area. So just three blocks like that. We'll cover it up with the birch trap doors just at the front side. And then I'll go ahead and grab pretty much everything else. So we're going to need this white concrete, the carpet, the sea lantern, birch sign, the candle, the creeper head, lantern, the iron door. So that'll be it for now. So with the iron door, I'm going to place it behind that slab. I'll go ahead and have the birch signs on each side of the slab. And then with the candle, I'll have it right here. And then the lantern, I'll have maybe on the desk. So right there. Creeper head will be there. And then let's go ahead and carve out the carpet and the floor, which will be right here. So I'll fill that in with sea lanterns. Cover it up with the carpet like that. And then I'll go ahead and clear everything. Oh wait, the white concrete, I'm going to place it right there. And then I'll clear everything. I'll grab the end rod. Place it there, so now we have a lamp. I'll clear that. Get rid of this. Uh, this stuff. 
And if that, 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 clear it. And if that, we'll grab everything else. So, we have the pink banner. We'll crouch, place that for the chair. Over here, we have to light the candle with the flint and steel. We'll grab the flower pots, fill that in. And then, for the nightstand, I'm gonna have... I'm not sure what I actually had here. I'm just gonna have a flower pot with maybe that flower again right there. You know what? I'll have the uh, pink tulip. So pink tulip right there. And now uh, we have to do the laptop. So we just have to grab a quick block so that we could place the painting right there. Oh yeah, we'll need another one at the top. So there we go. And then I'll have the stone button, so it looks like the mouse. I'll clear all that, get rid of that, grab the pressure plate, place it right there. And now, I'm going to leave it at that here for this room. So we have the bed right here, nightstand, desk over here, and a storage area. And then the carpet in the middle. So, we'll head on out, head on into this bedroom next. So now I have all the blocks for this room. Be sure to grab the smooth quartz, the stairs and the slabs, the gray concrete, the white concrete, snow, enrod, painting, sea lantern, the two flowers, and then both the skeleton skulls, stone button, black concrete, light gray, gray and white carpet, and then a flower pot. So we'll start by marking out the bed, Grab the full blocks of the smooth quartz. We're going to have five right down the center of this wall. We'll have the stair on each side. Upside down in the middle. And slabs on top. And then we'll go ahead and have two rows of gray concrete. And then a row of white. And another row of gray. We'll have slabs around the entire edge. And then the snow. We'll have like that and maybe an extra layer down the middle and then i had the stairs just like two side by side here for the nightstands but i'm gonna switch it up a bit and just have two full blocks like this and then i'll grab the birch trap doors so it looks like a little bit of storage so i'll go ahead and have these in front of those full blocks and then let's grab the end rod have that on each end and then grab the gray concrete so now we have some lamps and then over on this wall, I had a TV, so make sure you have your smooth quartz stairs. I'm going to line it up with the bed and just have five of these curving together. Like that. And then grab the black concrete and the stone button. We'll have two rows, like two layers of five like that. Stone button at the bottom left hand corner and the smooth quartz slabs on top. And then I'm going to carve out a hole around the edge of the bed for where the carpet will be. So a little something like this. I'll fill it in with sea lanterns. And then before we cover that up with the carpet, I have the paintings right here. So I'm going to go ahead and carve out a hole. Fill- oh, you know what? I had a cutout in the wall over here. I remember what I did. I had the cutout in the wall with a painting. So we'll go ahead and do that. Bring this all the way up. Actually, I think I'll stop it right there. So just two facing up, upside down, and then upside down after that. So a little space right here. We'll have a painting. I like that one. And then I think I'm gonna clear everything. Yeah, we'll clear all that. We'll clear that. And that. And I'll go ahead and grab the flower pot, these flowers, and then these skulls. So on the nightstands, we'll have these flower pots filled in with the flowers. Over here, I'll have these skeleton skulls. And then I'll clear that, get rid of this stuff, and then grab the carpet. So I'll have white right here. And then maybe some gray right down the middle. And then light gray over here. And now I am going to leave it at that for this bedroom. We could have some bushes in the corner. I'll go ahead and do that. So we have this, this, and that. So I have these in each corner for this wall.
There we go. I'm going to leave it at that for this bedroom. I'll head on out and into this bathroom next. So I'm going to completely freestyle this bathroom. I didn't do it at the original build. So it's just going to be a design I'm going to come up with right off the top of my head right now. So I'm going to be using the smooth quartz stairs, the full blocks, and the slabs. I'm going to start with the stairs and I'm thinking I want a large bathtub back here. So I'm just going to do this entire back side like that. It's not going to be a shower or anything. It'll just be strictly a bathtub. And then right here, I'm going to replace with the full blocks of the smooth quartz. And then I'm probably going to have the sink over here and the toilet on this side. So I have the full block, upside down smooth quartz stair, and a slab. And then over here, I'll go ahead and have two full blocks. I'll skip over that space, have another two. We could have double sinks. I'll do that. Maybe an extra block there. Should I just do that? So counter space, sink, sink, everything else is counter space. Yeah, why not? And then I'm going to carve out a hole right here, which will end up being where a carpet's going to be. So I'll grab the sea lantern and fill this in. All right. And I'll clear all that. And now just grab all of the detail. So birch trap doors, bucket of water, tripwire hook, lever, birch button, stone button, hopper, white banner. And then we'll need a weighted pressure plate. So that'll be everything for now. So we have the hoppers there. And then we'll go ahead and fill in this bathtub. And then I'll grab the trip bar hook, have it right there so it looks like the faucet. And then I'll go ahead and have the birch trap doors in front of these full blocks. And then I'll crouch and have it in front of these hoppers. Crouch again and fill in the hoppers with the water. And then have the levers pointing down towards them. For the toilet, we have the stone button, the weighted pressure plate. We need a couple bars of soap, so I have a birch button there and there. We'll have another one here for the bathtub. I'll grab the white banner, have just a towel right there down the middle. Another one over here for the bathtub. And then I think that is everything, so I'll clear that. And I think I want to grab some white stained glass panes. Just have a little extra glass here. Just like that. And then I'm actually going to replace this with quartz as well. It would be nice to have some tile on the wall, but the windows kind of interfere with that. I guess I could, you know what? Yeah, I'll go ahead and do it anyway. So let me grab the quartz bricks and I'll just fill in the spaces that I could actually fill in. I'll bring this all the way up to the ceiling to like the crown molding. We're gonna have to replace that. So let me grab it. And then we have these spaces here. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's fine. We could fill in that space as well. Why not? Okay, I guess it looks fine. Uh, I think I want to have a flower pot there. So let me grab that with a blue orchid. And then I'll grab some of the blue carpet. So like the cyan, the light blue, and the blue. So I have that there. Well, I have the light blue, the cyan, and then blue. That looks good. And now I'm going to leave it at that here for this bathroom. And you know what? That is everything for this apartment. So the entire third floor for this building is done. I think I want to make adjustments to this carpet here. So I'll go ahead and grab all this. I just want to bring this in. So it's lined up at the edge of the couch. So I'll replace this with the wooden floors. And then I want to extend it out right here. So sea lanterns all right here. This will be white carpet. And this will be light gray. And we'll probably replace that with gray. There we go. I think that just looks a little bit better. More evened out. It's lined up at the couch. So I'm going to leave it at that here for the third floor. We'll head on up to the fourth floor. And this will be the last apartment that we do. So I gathered up the blocks I'm going to be using for the living room slash hallway space here. So be sure to grab the gray concrete, the smooth quartz slabs, the anvils, jungle leaves, smooth quartz blocks, birch trap doors, and rod, the wither skeleton skull, gray carpet, 
regular skeleton skull, painting, smooth quartz stair, light gray carpet, white carpet, and sea lanterns. So I'm gonna look over here at this wall first and have a small couch, so be sure to grab the gray concrete. I'm gonna leave two spaces here, so I'm on this third block. Place two, bring it over by three, bring it out right there. Two smooth quartz slabs, have the anvil with the jungle leaves in the corner. And then, oh yeah, you know what? I had a cutout in the wall over here. So I'll go ahead and do that. Just bring this all the way up. Let me grab these stairs. I'll have two facing up at the bottom, or my bad, upside down at the bottom, upside down at the top. And then we need the painting. Fill it in right there. And then over on this wall, I'm going to have smooth quartz blocks. So I'm going to leave a space, have two there. Go on this side, we have the window, so we're going to leave a space, have another two. And then grab the gray concrete. We're going to have a couch right in between them. So it's three spaces here, which will be filled in with the slabs. Grab the birch trap doors. Fill that in. Like cover up the fronts like that. You could maybe do the sides as well. I'll go ahead and do that. And then grab the end rod. We'll have it on each end. And then fill it in at the top with a gray concrete block. So now we have some lamps. And then I'm going to have a wither skeleton skull there. And a regular one on the other side. And then here at the top, I'm going to carve out these three spaces. Filled in with sea lanterns. And then cover it up with the paintings. So we have one right there. Hold up. So we have one there. Another one right there. And right there. So now we have this couch, we have some tables on each side, another couch right there, and now I'm going to have a carpet in the floor, so I'm going to carve out all this space. I think I should stop it right there, I don't want it to be too big. I'll fill this in with sea lanterns. Alright, now... I'll have some gray carpet right around here. And then I'll grab the other ones. So the white right there. And the rest of it light gray. Maybe we can have another strip of white here. There we go. Uh, I'm going to grab the anvil and the leaves again. Have another one here. And another one here. All right. So, that is all looking good. I'm going to leave this, like, pretty much as it is. Don't really need anything here. We have a couch there, couch there. So, this all looks good. I think we used everything. Yep. Now, I'm going to head on to the kitchen and dining room space right here. So, I gathered up all the blocks for this space. Be sure to grab the full blocks of smooth quartz, the stairs, the slabs, and the chiseled quartz blocks. Then, birch signs, iron door, white banner, birch trap door, campfire, furnace, hopper, lever, birch button, sea lantern, iron trap door, spruce, pressure plate, couple uh, flowers within the flower pots, candle, there's the flower pot, cake, anvil, jungle leaves, I have a few colored carpet, uh, food items within the glow item frames. So I'm going to start with the smooth quartz blocks. And I think the fridge has been in the same spot for every single one of these apartments, so it'll be here again. It's just a good spot to have it, right in between these windows. Because I don't want it like in front of the windows. And then over here, I want counter space, so I think this is pretty much just a good spot for it. We'll have the slabs on top, stair right there. We're going to have a full block right there. We're going to have a corner sink, so that means we need three blocks there. And then here, I'm going to have one, two, three, four. We'll go ahead and do five like that. Then we'll have cabinet space, so just skip over a block. We'll have cabinets there. One here in the corner and one there. Slabs on top. Birch trap doors in front of these full blocks. And that will cover up these bottom ones. 
I guess I'll go ahead and do it now. Make sure you have your chiseled quartz blocks. We'll replace these four blocks here. Fill it in. I'll go ahead. Oh, you know what? That's already there. Okay. Over here, I'll go ahead and fill that in. These two spaces. And that one. And then grab the quartz blocks. Fill that in. And this. So now for the kitchen island, I want to make sure I'm two spaces away from that counter and two spaces from that one. So I'm going to place a block right there. Another one to the right of it. And then another two like that. And we'll go ahead. I'm trying to think. I guess I'll do that. So this will be where the ovens are. And then we'll have two smooth quartz stairs upside down. We'll go ahead and carve out the floor here. Replace it with the campfires. I'll go ahead and grab pretty much everything else. Let me just kind of organize a bit. So we're going to need the hoppers, the furnaces, the lever, the birch button, the pressure plate. And we'll leave it at that for now. So cover up these campfires with the furnaces. We'll have the hoppers right here. We'll have just one lever there. Just like how we did it for, I think, the first apartment. Because I don't want one here. I think that just looks a little weird. So we'll just leave it at one. Birch button right there. Pressure plate will be right there as a cutting board. And that is everything. So we'll move that out of the way. We'll grab these full blocks again. The stairs, the slabs, the sea lanterns, and the trap doors. We're going to go right above the furnaces and have an oven hood. So two blocks like that. Another layer after it. Sea lanterns after that. And then stair on each side. Slab in each corner. Cover up these sea lanterns with trap doors and then an extra layer of slabs all around the edge underneath. We can add a few extra decorations. I'll grab the flower pot with maybe just the blue orchid. Have it right here. That'll be good. Could have a couple other decorations on this rest of the counter space, but I'm going to leave it as it is. Now we're going to look over here and have a dining room table. It is the smallest table that we've made so far. And this is also the smallest apartment, so it doesn't really need a big table. So grab the full blocks of the smooth quartz. I'm going to try to get right down the center of this wall. You know what? I think right here. So that'll be four spaces and then we have five spaces. I'm going to have a bush right here in the corner, so that'll work out good. We'll have a stair on each side and then a slab in each corner. And that's about it for this table. Have a slab like that to start off where the chair is going to be. I'm going to maybe just have a flower pot. You know what? I'll have another one. How about right here? And I'll fill that in with the fern. Because that did look a little bland. And then over here, I think I'm just going to leave it with a cake, a candle, and I need the flint and steel. So, cake right there, candle. Oh wait, we have to have the candle on the full block right here. And then this will have the cake. So I have the item frames here, and then I just have the beetroot soup and the mushroom stew. I'll flip that around. And now, get that out of the way. We'll grab the bird sign, iron door, white banner. So, door like that sign on just the one side and then we have to crouch and have the banners i'll clear all that i'll grab the anvil and the jungle leaves and i'm gonna have it right here so i just looked back at the original build and i noticed i actually had this table one block further towards the left so it's just a little bit bigger i noticed that this the reason why i have the anvils is because i had the chair at the original build right here and I wasn't able to have trap doors, like the jungle trap doors I normally would have, because the chair is right up against it. And I was like, what's going on here? It's not the same. And that's because this table is a little bit smaller. If you want to, you could just leave it exactly as it is. But I do want to make it just as the original version, so I'm going to make this table a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to extend it out. So we need a full block right there. And then there's going to be two stairs. Come on, grab the stair. <laughs> two stairs right there. All right, so we have the two full blocks. Stair right there, two stairs there, another stair, and then just the slabs in the corner. So I just brought it over an extra block. I'll have another slab there for the chair. I'll go ahead and grab all of that. So door, trap door, or my bad, sign, and then a banner. 
And now we'll have the item frame again. We have to grab this one. There we go. And then for the cake, we're gonna have that right there. I'll leave the candle where it is. And then I had, that's where I used the other flower pot was right on here. So I'll go ahead and grab a flower pot and I'll grab a new flower. Maybe just a lily of the valley. We need those sea lanterns, we'll get rid of that, and we need this carpet. Because we're going to have a little carpet in the floor. So we'll carve out a hole right here. Fill that in with sea lanterns. So I'll have brown carpet there. Light gray, and just maybe a strip of gray. I'll clear that. And yeah, now I think everything was used. So there we go. We have the kitchen, like a little L-shaped kitchen. We got the island in the middle. Small dining room table over here. We got a couch, another couch. So now we have the bedroom and the bathroom. I'll jump on into the bathroom next. So I'm gonna freestyle this bathroom as well. So I just grabbed a few quick blocks. So I have the smooth quartz stairs, the slabs and the blocks, and then some deep slate tiles. So I'm gonna start with the stairs. Curve together eight right here on this wall. A perfect spot for the bathtub. Over on this wall is where I'm gonna have the sink. So I'll have a full block there, two more there, and then the sink will be here. Then the toilet will be right in the middle. So I think I'll have it more on this side. So full block, slab, and a stair. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. Now for the deep slate tiles, I'm gonna replace this wall so that it looks like the tile for the bathtub. So I'll go ahead and carve out the blocks on each side, replace all of this. So now it's going to match the floors a little bit. So we have the deep slate stone brick here. And then uh, this is the tiles. Go ahead and replace all of this. All right. So this looks good. Just like that. Perfect. And now I think we could clear everything. And I'll go ahead and grab the white stained glass paints. We'll need the hopper. The tripwire hook, the lever, couple white banners, weighted pressure plate, birch button, stone button, and a bucket of water. So, we'll look over here first. I'll go ahead and have the hopper. And you know what? I forgot the birch trap doors. We'll grab those in a second. But with a bucket of water, I'll go ahead and fill in the bathtub. White stained glass panes. I'll have two rows of three here. I'll have a tripper hook down here at the bottom, lever pointing down towards the top. So that's like the shower head and the faucet. I have the white banner, which I'll have right there as a towel. Another one, uh, we'll have it right there. And then we'll have a birch button there, so it looks like bar of soap. We'll have the stone button for the toilet, with a pressure plate for the toilet. I'm gonna replace this with full blocks of smooth quartz. I'm gonna grab birch trap doors place these in front of the full blocks crouch for the hopper and then crouch again to have the bucket of water and then point the lever towards the sink like that for the faucet and now that is actually everything here for this bathroom quick and easy we could have a flower pot right there so i'll go ahead and do that so flower pot and i'll use a how about the corn flower there we go. That looks good. You know what? I'm going to have a lantern right here as well. Little extra light source. There we go. Perfect. So I'm going to leave it at that here for this bathroom. I'll head on out. We have the final room here, which is a bedroom. So I'm just going to jump right on into it. I just gathered up a few blocks for the bed. So I have smooth quartz stairs, slabs, and blocks, and then green concrete and white concrete. I'm going to start with the full blocks. Just place five right here on this wall in between these windows like that. And then I'll just have these slabs on top. I'll have two rows of three with the green concrete, a row of white concrete and another row of green. And then I'll have the slabs around the edge. And then I need to grab the snow for the pillows. So I'll just have it like that. And then for the nightstands, I'm just going to have a slab and then two stacked up on each side. 
If that, I'll go ahead and carve out a hole in the floor, wrap it around the edge of the bed. And you know what? I'll leave it right there because I think I want a little storage area there. So it'll be like that. Bring this over by an extra space on that side though. And then I'll clear that. Oh wait, not yet. I think I want some lamps on the nightstands. So let me grab the end rod. So I have it on each end with a green concrete block. Or is that going to be too much green? I'll leave it green. Why not? Okay. Now I'll clear all that. I'll grab the sea lanterns. Fill this in. Great light source for this room. And then I'll use green carpet and white carpet. That'll be all I use. So white carpet and green. So it's like that. Over on this wall, uh, I'll just have a couple cutouts. So maybe one here and one here. Yeah, that'll be good. Bring these up to just right there. We'll have these stairs. So two facing up at the bottom, upside down on top of that. And I'll just have upside down like that. And I'm actually going to keep the chiseled quartz visible, so I'm not going to cover it up with the painting. And I'll just have a flower pot, a couple skeleton skulls, and then maybe a fern, a white tulip. So I'll have that, that, flower pots, right there. Cool, I like it. And then... Over on this wall, as I mentioned, I want just like maybe a little storage space. So I'll grab the full blocks. Just uh, fill it in with three, actually four spaces like that. I'll cover up the front side with birch trap doors. And then I almost forgot we have to have a little extra something there for the nightstands. So I'll grab a flower pot and maybe these flowers. And then I'll have another flower for the little storage unit we just made. So I'll use the blue orchid. And then I'll also grab a wither skeleton skull. So I'll just grab this one. So go ahead and have the flower pots like that. On this table, I'll have the skeleton skull and another flower pot right there. On this wall, we could have maybe a TV like built into the wall. So I'll grab the black concrete, the stone button, and we can have it one, two, three, four. This will be a good size. Perfect. So I have like a TV kind of just like built into the wall. We could grab this stair. Have it here. Let's see. Maybe have them like this underneath. I've never actually done that before. Like built it into an actual wall. I am going to leave it at that. We could have a bush right here in the corner, but I'm not going to worry about it. I think it's all good. If that actually completes this apartment. I like it. I really like how this build turned out. So that'll be it here for part five for this tutorial on how to build this apartment building. And that now completes the build. So if this did help you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.